Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. And I'm Siwa Feely Rose Amador. And together we are Native Voice TV. We are the Indigenous people. Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. Um, recently we had Yula Lee over at, uh, we were a co-sponsor of, of them coming out. And they did like a little mini concert for us. Mm, that was great. Yeah, it was very nice. And this was at the TANF. Native TANF offices. Native TANF over at 490 uh, North 1st Street. But we met Sunny. That sounds like a plug. Yeah, that's a <laughs> plug right there. Um, we met Sunny. Sunny's one of... Uh, Sunny Moreno. Sunny Moreno is one of the um, members of Yula Lee. And I'm trying to get this award right because I don't want to <laughs> mess it up because we're going to send Sunny a, a tape and she, I don't want her to yell at me. <laughs> but anyways, um, we did a little mini concert and she's also a producer, right? She's a producer for a group, well, one of the producers mm -hmm. for a group called Emergence, and uh, they had a concert recently in New Mexico, and it was during the um, Indian Market Days, mm -hmm. and she invited us to it. So since I happened to be there with Yakoat, she gave us back backstage passes for Native Voice wow. TV, and it was a beautiful venue. It was a, a Native school. Um, like I think it was a, like a junior high, high school combination, but it was beautiful. They had a really nice amphitheater, and the only drawback, it rained a little bit, like all night long, it poured, <laughs> but it was still a beautiful, beautiful That's what concert. umbrellas are for. Oh, no, because then you wet people <laughs> around you. No, we didn't. We just got wet, you know, yeah. you could dry off. <laughs> but it was a beautiful concert, and we met so many talented artists. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was just something. Uh, but uh, we took a little film of it. Well, we, Yakoa did, of course. I just mm -hmm. went along for the ride. But just take a look, and I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, great. We're here with, with Miss New Mexico. Can you give us your name? Yes, my name is Anua Lacey, and I'm the 2006 Miss New Mexico USA. And when were you crowned? I was crowned last year, October 29th, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and I have the honor of being the very first Native American and Navajo woman to hold the title of Miss New Mexico USA and going on to compete at, at the Miss USA pageant. How exciting. Well, congratulations. Are you a student? Well, I just graduated from the University of New Mexico. I was a double major in English with a pre-law concentration and Native American studies. So getting ready to go off to an internship in D.C. with the Johnston and Associates lobbying firm and the Smith and Brown Yazzie law firm and um, getting ready for law school, which will happen next fall. And I'm going to be taking my LSATs and hopefully we'll get into Harvard. <laughs> well, I know you will. Congratulations, and you'll make a wonderful role model. Oh, thank you so much. You know, this is really what I love doing, and that's why I've continued on in, in pageantry, is because it, ha I have uh, visibility, you know, as, as being a successful woman and somebody who really cares about the people, and I want, I want to be there for the young women, women to look up to. So, you know, this is really what I love doing, so I hope that I can do that as a, a Harvard Law student. <laughs> you will. Congratulations. Good luck. To you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And if there was no keeper of the land, the sheep would come in soon, destroy the sky. They didn't listen. They didn't listen. They didn't listen. We're here with Sunny Moreno. She was so gracious to invite us to the concert here. Tell us what's going on today. Well, we have our 12th annual um, Palo Solari show uh, during Indian Market, and um, we're very happy this year because we have a, a, an array of um, talent here, and we have Bill Miller. We just had Floyd Westerman who did a, an opening prayer and uh, sang a song for us, blessed us with that. And, um, and we have uh, some uh, specialty acts from uh, Silver Wave, actually, but there's more like showcases from Silver Wave and Canyon. So we have uh, Tree Cody and um, Miss New Mexico, who is our host, and it's it's real exciting. 
It's been wonderful what I've seen so far. Now, this is an annual event? Yes, it is an annual event, um, always held during Indian Market. And um, it's, it's, you know, it's been going, and, and what we like to do is, because this venue, um, in particular this, sh this type of show, we like to feature young artists, young Native artists who are considering maybe doing this as a, you know, a living, but giving them a a uh, platform, a professional platform to perform and um, and also be part of the, include the community and um, since it's held here at Palo Solari at the Indian School they they give us this venue you know and it's it's been working really well and so sometimes it's you know the weather it's kind of iffy but it still happens. We still it's still beautiful outside. Now your company is called Emergence Emergence Productions, and uh, Emergence Productions um, is uh, producing for the Native Roots and Rhythms, which is this festival. And uh, Emergence Productions is um, a company out of Albuquerque, and I'm the New York rep. So <laughs> the East Coast rep. The East Coast rep, yeah. <laughs> East Coast to West Coast. And what what's the next big project coming up? Um, well, there's various projects that we have uh, are going well, you know, with Miss New Mexico and also um, bringing some projects from that are in New York um, with, the Native, with the American Indian Community House. I'm hoping to bring Emergence Productions to do some of our events there. <laughs> for we're rehearsing for uh, we're part of a uh, Shelly morning songs uh, group and she's also uh, under uh, Larry Mitchell's tribute for the evening oh wonderful and you'll be dancing yes where are you from Zuni born and raised in Zuni and we're Zuni and Omaha oh, wonderful we're looking forward to seeing your show great excellent glad to be here and your name uh, Shani Fontenelle I saw you practicing back there. You were doing a great job. Thanks. How old are you? I'm 11. 11? How long have you been dancing? Um, ever since I could walk, ever since I was... You came out dancing? Yep, came out dancing. <laughs> I'm half Sunni and half Northern Apple. Well, good luck on your performance tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay, my name is Shelly Morningsong, and I'm Northern Cheyenne. And your group's going to be performing this evening? Yes. At about in about 20 minutes. <laughs> We're looking forward to your show. It sounds wonderful what we heard back here. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really thankful to be here. Thank you. Where are you from? Well, I grew up in Los Angeles, but I now uh, reside with my husband in uh, Albuquerque. And we have our home in Zuni, but we're living in Albuquerque temporarily. So we look forward to your show. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here. Thank you. <laughs>
to introduce a performing artist, Alan Tafoya, who just finished performing for us, and it was wonderful. Thank you very much. And where are you from? I'm originally from Dulce, the Hickory Apache Reservation in New Mexico, Dulce, New Mexico. I see. And how long have you been singing? Uh, geez, for a long time, but uh, I actually the song Angel's Eyes that you heard out there tonight, I wrote that back in 2001. Oh, that's wonderful. And I understand there was some kind of movie made about you or something? Uh, yeah, we did a film. It's called Dancing on the Edge, and it's about a Hickory Apache person that overcomes tremendous odds in his life. And that's where the other song, Dancing on the Edge of the Blade, the rocker, came from. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen,
at this time what I want to do is I'm going to start out with a very old song that I know. It's a very old traditional Dakota love song. Now these songs go way back. And these are songs that have been done, taught to me by my elders and my teachers as I grew up on the Palau circuit as an answer. So what I want to do is I want to play this song for you and then I'm going, to, I'm going to sing this song for you and then I'm going to play it on the flute for you just to give you an idea of what these old time love songs sound like. So you guys up there that snagged out, just hold your honey real close. Eh?
hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun, a beautiful concert. Yeah, I think they're going to have to change uh, Cody's name from uh, Tall Tree to Wet Tree. <laughs> <laughs> he was growing as we were yeah. listening. Yeah. <laughs> like seven that foot rain, tall? huh? He's a seven foot tall he guy. Was big very, guy. Very, very wow. tall. So was Miss New Mexico. Yeah, you look like a little midget. I know. I was trying to hold the mic up there. <laughs> she was way up there. She was beautiful. Yeah. Very talented young lady. But you saw the rain coming out? I mean, yeah, it was just so pouring hot. buckets. And that was all night long. But wow. the performers were out there. They, there was no cover for them either. And they were out there all night long. So we stayed there till the very end and yeah, supported well. them. But it was beautiful. Oh, our camera guy, you know, some some of the, the the pictures were a little bit shaky, but he was zoomed out wide all the way from the second tier, right? Yeah, from the top of the, uh, well, there yeah. were two large tiers, and he was at the very top shooting down, so, so you, in the rain, yeah. without a tripod, so you <laughs> and it was very, cold. <laughs> did very good, yeah. Yeah, and it was funny because you would lay the you know, your plastic bag down and sit on it, and then you couldn't move because if you moved, it would get soaked right there. So you had oh. to kind of stay in the same spot and not move. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was really a great concert. And then I had uh, seen Floyd Westerman earlier in the day at the yeah. Indian Market Days, and we interviewed him there. And then he showed up at the concert again. He goes, oh, you're back again. <laughs> we said, run into you again, huh? Yeah, I remember Floyd. We had, remember years ago, we had that big thing at the Mexican Heritage mm -hmm. Plaza. It was like a winter solstice. Mm -hmm. And Floyd came out there, and he actually played music and sang. And, yeah. and this is before his uh, operation, so he's, he was still pretty sick. Right. And he did it for free. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah, came out did. there and sang for free. Yeah, he's, um, he looks really good. He yeah. looks really healthy. He's singing. And... Um, he says he's coming on the well, show. Did he get a soon. lung transplant? He did. Great. He did. So, I yeah, guess it works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. So, <laughs> that was a great show. And um, Sonny and Terry, who that's, we had on right. last is, week. It's a small world because we met Terry at the NAJA, or the Native American Journalists Association, and then we met uh, Sonny from ULE. But they're also. Um, Board, are they on the they're board on the same board yeah. in New York for, for an arts foundation. Yeah, Native or, American Arts yes. Foundation. So that's that's kind of funny because <laughs> yeah. we were talking to Terry and he was like, you know, oh yeah, Sunny. I know Sunny. And we're like, hey, we know Sunny too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a small cool. world. There's a couple events coming up. What do we got going on? Well, let's see. On the uh, 28th, I believe it is, mm -hmm. the Indian Health Center has a concert. This month. This month of October. Okay. They have a co the comedians coming to town, okay. four comedians, and it's at no the one called me. No, <laughs> <laughs> you've only been announcing it the last few weeks, <laughs> so I'm sure you'll be in the front I missed row. Missed a phone call. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Up on stage. Uh, it's, <laughs> oh no, then they, they will be laughing. <laughs> um, it's a fundraiser for the Indian Health Center, mm -hmm. and uh, it's at the CET uh, Theater on Vine, and I forget what the cross street, but it's by 280, I guess. Vine in Virginia. Freeway. Vine in, Vine in Virginia, yeah. right. And uh, contact Vernon Medicine Cloud mm -hmm. for tickets for that event. And then on November 2nd, Thursday, there at San Jose City Hall, the new City Hall, is going to be the first Native American uh, heritage celebration. Mm -hmm. And it will be honoring indigenous peoples and their contributions to everything. Now I heard they're also going to have like an elders uh, honoring the mm -hmm. elders, right? And they will be honoring elders of our community, which are the well-respected individuals of our community. Yeah. And, and that's all. I heard that you were also going to be on the, no, the, no, the no, honor you're, you're roll. Right. Honor, yeah, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, it wouldn't be for age, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyhow, it's all. See, I can do the comedian stuff too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't make it. <laughs> Keep your day I'll be on job. The, I'll be on the first stage out of town, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyhow, November 2nd from 1 to 8 p.m., there's uh, activities for the kids, there a lot of educational uh, information yeah. and a program in the evening with a dinner. So please come out and support that event. We're even going to yeah. have t-shirts, commemorative t-shirts. So Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there. So We're co-sponsoring the event. Come talk to us. So we want you to come out and join us. And say hi. Yes. Yeah. Come out and say hi. Give us your suggestions on our show. Uh, give us some donations. Come out and take a picture with yeah. Sunday. Come out and we take a picture with Siwapili. Anyhow, we'll see you <laughs> next Sunday at 6 o'clock. Good night. Same time, same place. Good night.
of our children. Indigenous way, indigenous way, are in the hearts of our children. 